Welcome back to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Edel. In today's video lesson, I'll be discussing about oxides. Now, what are oxides? Oxides are compounds containing oxygen with another element, basically one other element only. Now, we have different kinds of oxides. The first oxide I shall be explaining is the acidic oxides. Acidic oxides. Now, what are as acidic oxides? Acidic oxides are oxides of non-metal combining with oxygen. So, what do I mean? For example, carbon and oxygen, CO2. This is an example of an acidic oxide because oxygen, which is the base element here, combined with a non-metal, which is carbon, because an acidic oxide is, a, is an oxide of a non-metal. NO2, which is another acidic oxide, SO2, which is another acidic oxide. So basically, talking about acidic oxide, it makes us understand the concept about acid anhydrides. Okay, it makes us understand the concept about acid anhydrides. What are acid anhydrides? Acid anhydrides are non metallic oxides, they are non metallic oxides when dissolved in water. When dissolving water, produce an acid. So basically, talking about acid oxides, they are oxides of non-metal like CO2, carbon dioxide, and O2, SO2. So basically, for acid and hydride, we talk about they are non-metallic oxide. When dissolving water, produce acid. We get something like CO2 dissolving in water, which is H2O. Okay, we get an acid which is H2CO3 and this acid is called carbonic acid. It is called carbonic acid and it is a very weak, it is a weak and it is dibasic in nature. Weak dibasic in nature. Okay, it is weak, you know, basicity of an acid talks about the the uh, numbers of replaceable hydrogen ion in one molecule of an acid. So basically for this, ionic and ionic can be H2CO3 to give us H plus plus CO3 2 minus. This is a radical. One acid to get two. So basically the basicity is two dibasic. Okay? Now this is the first concept about oxides. Basically acidic oxides. So we have another oxide called the basic oxide. Okay, this is one acidic oxide. So let's talk about basic oxide. But before we talk about basic oxide, let's check something. NO2 reacting with water will get acids, not only one acid. Because you can see here that CO2 reacted with water with what? One acid. But in this case, NO2 reacting with water will get two acids. HNO3 plus HNO2. So with this, this NO2, it is a mixed acid and hydride. Why? Because when dissolved in water, it produces two acids. The first acid is nitric acid, commonly called aqua fortis, and nitrous acid. Okay, so when you dissolve in water, you get two acids. So that's why it's called a mixed acid and hydrate. Now let's talk about basic oxides. Let's talk about basic oxides. Basic oxides. What are basic oxides? Basic oxides are oxides of a metal 
you know oxygen reacting with a metal you get a basic oxide now this is what i mean example of a basic oxide is sodium oxide na2o okay we have another which is calcium oxide calcium oxide is popularly called quicklime okay calcium oxide is popularly called quicklime now take a, a basic oxide that is soluble in water it is called an alkali okay a basic oxide that a basic oxide that is soluble in water is called an alkali take it a basic oxide that is soluble in water is called an alkali so basically basic oxides are oxides of metals because this is a metal they are both metal oxides of metal basic oxides they are oxides of metals okay oxides of metal you can see sodium oxide calcium oxide popularly called quicklime but when these basic oxides they are soluble in water we call them alkali alkali a basic soluble hydroxide so let's talk about the third oxide which is the um photeric oxide from the word am it means it has a dual nature okay it behaves as an acid and also a base so these are oxides that really have, that really have the properties of acids and bases like the likes of aluminium oxide al2o3 okay aluminium oxides like the likes of tin oxide okay so let's just say oxides from lead c aluminium zinc okay these are amphoteric oxides oxides from lead tin aluminium and zinc they are amphoteric oxide so let's talk about the fourth oxide which is called the neutral oxide the neutral oxide these are oxides that neither have the property of basic oxides and acidic oxides example is your carbon monoxide co and also n2o okay dinitrogen one oxide which is popularly called laughing gas okay this is called laughing gas now the fourth or the fifth oxide i shall explain because we talked about the acidic oxide i've talked about the basic oxide i've talked about the amphoteric oxide and now talking about the neutral oxide and now the last oxide is the peroxides now peroxides they are oxide where they have the oxidation state the oxidation state of oxygen is negative one but popularly or in most states of oxygen the oxygen state is negative two but in peroxide is negative one example of a peroxide is h2o2 but basically this is not okay let's just say this is a peroxide okay and we have calcium oxide this is also a peroxide we have uh, N2O2, sodium peroxide, calcium peroxide, hydrogen peroxide. So basically, these are peroxides and they are all oxides. So we have five kinds of oxides the acidic oxide, we have the basic oxides, we have the amphoteric oxide, we have the neutral oxides, we have the peroxides. So basically, these are some concepts about oxides. Okay, thanks for watching.